As you can see, many fire extinguishers can be used on more than one type or class of fire. The important message here is simply not to use an extinguisher on a type or class of fire that is not indicated as acceptable on the extinguisher. For example, a water extinguisher, which is only suitable for Class A fires, that is fires involving ordinary combustibles, should never be used on fires that involve a live electrical source. As a final point on extinguishers, it is worth noting that there are two other classes of fires. The first, Class D, refers to fires involving combustible metals, and these fires are fought with special dry powder extinguishers. And the second is Class F, and this class refers to fires involving combustible cooking substances, such as hot fats and oils, and again, there are specialised extinguishers for these fires. There are a few simple checks that should be carried out before using any extinguisher. Most extinguishers have a gauge, and this should be checked to see if the extinguisher is fully charged. Carbon dioxide and cartridge extinguishers, however, do not have gauges. Before approaching the fire, you should remove the safety pin and test the operation to check the discharge range of the extinguisher. The water extinguisher is only suitable for use on Class A fires, that is, fires that involve ordinary combustibles such as wood, paper and fabric. The water stream should be directed at the base of the flames working from side to side. As the flames diminish, you should change the stream to a spray by placing your finger over the nozzle. A spray is more effective in reducing the temperature of embers. When you have controlled the fire, separate the pieces and dampen down the hot spots to ensure that the fire is completely out. The foam extinguisher is suitable for use on two different classes of fires. Both A-class, that is, fires involving ordinary combustibles, and B-class fires. B-class fires are fires involving flammable liquids.